Hey everybody, well there's still lots to see over the Atlantic Basin, but as it relates to Florida, Tropical Depression number nine is the main attraction. As of five o'clock this afternoon, located about 400 plus miles east southeast of Kingston, Jamaica, maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, moving west northwest at 15 miles per hour. Yes, at this point, still a tropical depression, but forecast to become a tropical storm. And in fact, Jamaica under a tropical storm watch right now. So by Sunday, tropical storm conditions possible there, and the Cayman Islands actually under a hurricane watch because at that point you'll see in the intensity forecast this forecast to become a hurricane and strengthen even more. So we'll be tracking it west northwestward and then northwest to northward moving over Cuba as we're heading toward Monday night into early Tuesday and check out the placement by early Tuesday. Yes, this is why the Keys and South Florida are still in that forecast cone. Still some uncertainty as to where exactly the center of this is going to end up. Up, and that is why we have to watch it really, really closely. Michael, any signs that maybe it's trying to get its act together a bit more? I do think so, Betty. When you look at the visible satellite picture uh, this evening, we're losing the satellite picture. We're losing the sunlight, I should say, out in this part of the Atlantic in the uh, Caribbean. We're to the south of the Dominican Republic, southwest of Puerto Rico. This is Tropical Depression 9. Hurricane hunters, I should mention, are just now taking off from St. Quarry there to the south of Puerto Rico. They're going to be flying into this. Be interested to see what they find, but look at the visible picture here a little carefully. You see there's a spin to the clouds, and that spin is now trying to get underneath where these thunderstorms tops are. When you look at this shear analysis, the wind shear that has been an inhibiting factor for this, it's starting to relax a little bit. So I do think, Betty, in the next, say, 12, 18 hours, we're going to see this try to strengthen. And that's what the models are calling for. Take a look at the water vapor picture. This is what's happening at the middle to upper part of the atmosphere. Now to the north of Bermuda, just now skirting off the screen, that is Fiona, category three Fiona. Very strong outflow from this extending all the way down into the Caribbean. We also have a region of low pressure at the upper part of the atmosphere. Both of these are channeling winds down into the Eastern Caribbean. But look here to the Central Caribbean, not as much uh, wind as at the upper part of the atmosphere. So that's going to allow this to strengthen all the while the water temperatures are going to be warming up ahead of this. All right, so where is it headed? All the big question, well, it kind of depends on where it forms, which is why we're focusing on what's happening right now. We have a ridge of high pressure to the north that's going to steer this off to the west. We expect this to become Tropical Storm Ian over the weekend. We have a dip in the jet stream. That's going to bring some fall-like weather down to the southeastern states here in the United States. It's also, though, going to pull up Ian toward Cuba as we get into Monday into Tuesday. And when you look at where the forecast models are right now, they're still kind of all over the place because if the center of this forms a little bit farther south and west. It will have more of a gradual turn up toward Florida. If it forms a little farther to the east, could see a sharper turn here towards south Florida, toward the Keys, or maybe even uh, east of Florida. So there's still a lot left to be determined at this point. But what we know is that this is going to be a strengthening hurricane at this point. The forecast calling for maybe a Category 3 hurricane that will be hitting Florida or impacting Florida early, middle part of next week. So... Right now, the best thing you can do is get those, uh, rush those plans to completion, your family hurricane preparedness plan. L listen for the officials, uh, the um, guidance from local officials that will be coming out here in the days ahead.